Hello everybody, a very warm welcome to this week's episode of Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco. My name is Nadine, I'm writing for souldisco.de and as usual this has been done in one take only so if I misspell myself, please bear with me. So before we enter this week's jewel, I wanted to thank whoever is doing the website Funk My Soul. Uh, it comes from Greece, I think, and it provides an awesome amount of music and information. And whoever is doing this is putting a great effort and love into it and sharing it all with the community. So if you have a chance or if you haven't seen the website, go on it and have, have a blast. It's, it's awesome. So I'm visiting the, the website now for many years and um, I can only recommend it to you. So whoever you are, Thank you very much and a lot of love and everything to you for, for your hard work. Thank you. Because when I visited the website, I got to know an, an album I never heard of. And that was David Ruffin's last studio album. And it was called Gentleman Ruffin. And from Gentleman Ruffin, I got to this group, Brandy. Brandy is the most booked backing vocal group from the 1970s. They were on all major hits from the 70s. From Disco Lady to James Brown to you can name them, they were on it. And I did an interview with them and they talked about Ronald Matlock and they remembered the studio session when this recording took place and they were like, you know, he, he wasn't the kind of person you get in the room and you immediately acknowledge some kind of, you know, superstar you, you were looking at. But they said when he started to sing, it was awesome. They were just blown away by his voice. And I can totally understand it because I got that record and I've seen uh, this record by many of my Facebook friends in the record shelves. So, um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about that and also because Ronald Matlock died last year on April the 1st. So this is my little tribute to him. I was in touch with him for a couple of years, but he had major health issues. So an interview sadly never took place, but uh, he was uh, yeah, kind enough to, to, sign, to sign the record. and. Um, uh, yeah, I wish he would have had the chance to record and produce more records because he was an outstanding talent. So let's talk about a little bit um, about Ronald Madlock or Ron Madlock or Ronnie Madlock. <laughs> uh, he hang up, hang out in uh, with with Motown people, and as far as I know, he was offered twice a contract by Motown for songwriting and twice he turned it down. But anyway, um, Motown um, recorded some of his stuff. Um, there was, uh, I think, Bobby Taylor in the originals uh, with Out in the Country, which was produced by Rick James. Uh, he also was big friend with, with Eddie Kendricks and he uh, contributed some songs for his Vintage 78 album. And he also wrote a song for a group which was managed by uh, Eddie Kendrick, which was called, I think, Posse. So he, he did many things. And uh, when he started working on his solo album, he also worked on the album by Keith Barrow, which is called, I think, Physical Attraction. Don't, don't get me wrong. Is it called? Yeah, it's, it's called Physical Attraction. And uh, one of the uh, signature songs from that album or from Keith Barrow became You Know You Want to Be Loved, which was written by Ronnie. So sadly, Keith uh, Barrow was one of the earliest victims of AIDS and he died in with just being 29 in, I think, October of 1983. So very sad story, but the album is pretty good. If you have a chance to hear Physical Attraction, go on YouTube or wherever and you can get a quite good impression of how good this album was. So anyway, let's talk about this album. When I first uh, saw the cover of the album, I was immediately reminded of one of my favorite James Bond movies, The Spy Who Loved Me. The evil was living in an underwater 
uh, yeah, you know, kind of thing, uh, kind of mansion, if you want to call it that way. And it somehow looked like this. So I was reminded of, um, of this. This is the front cover of the album. The drawing is pretty nice, I think. This is the back and a uh, very nice picture of uh, Ronald Matlock. Um, Love City was released in 1979 and it's not, um, I would say, a, a typical disco album. It's, it's uh, I think, a mi mixture of R&B with disco flavors and it fits in very well. And if you listen to it, it could have been recorded today as well. The album was released uh, in, in nine different versions in total with, I think, three CD releases in the 2000 years. It was produced by Michael Strokes, uh, who uh, is a very famed producer and the arrangement was done, the, the Detroit Orchestra was uh, involved with this and the arrangements were done by uh, Johnny Allen Sr who uh, also did the arrangements for the Shaft soundtrack. So the best of the best, if you want to call it that way. There were, during uh, during the release of the album, there were two single releases. And there was, um, it was ba Let Me Dance. And the other release was Let Me Dance with Backstreet as the B-side. For everybody, it's, obvious that I Can't Forget About You, which is featured on this album, and the signature song by Ron Madlock is the head singer. So I never understood why they hadn't choose this one, but that's how it is. Uh, I think about a few years ago, the expansion label released uh, a singer um, which was called You Got the Best of Me and featuring I Can't Forget About You on the B-side. Must have been three, four years ago. So if you want to have it as a single, Expansion Records is the way to go. Yeah, let's talk about, let's talk, oh, I want to show you the label. I want to show you the label of the record. I do have the US version of it. So this is side one. And this is, hopefully you can see that side B. I always have to be careful that I'm not throwing down uh, the records. If you if you buy it cheap, you always pay twice, and that's uh, totally right. I bought some some stands for for the records, so I could put them in while I play records, and they're always falling down. They came out of a 3D printer. I didn't know that. So anyway, if you see this coming from a 3D printer, don't buy it because I can't put the label out up here. Uh, without any cardboard behind it, otherwise it's falling down. So, anyway, let's get to the songs on this record. We have uh, what was also the the title for the single, Let Me Dance. It's a, it's a dance song. It's a typical disco-flavored dance song, um, followed by Love City, which is also a kind of... It's a, it's a typical dance song and uh, upbeat song. And uh, at the third song of the side A, it's I Can't Forget About You, which outshines the whole album next to, you know, next to the ballads. Ballads are also pretty good. Feeling Something, I love that song. It's uh, from the lyrics, from the sound. Check it out on, on YouTube. It's great. Uh, then we get right into side B. Two, and side two starts with Backstreet, which was also released as a single, and it's a really upbeat disco song with a nice bass line in it. Uh, Take Me to the Top of Your Mountain is the first ballad, a beautiful ballad. Uh, you Got the Best of Me, also a little up-tempo, but great song, and Working Man is also a ballad. And uh, yeah, uh, I want to show you the, the singles as well. I hope it's not falling down. It's not it's not falling down. Thank you. This is the single front, backside, nothing to be afraid of. And this is the label. Here they wrote Ronnie Matlock on the label. Otherwise they called him Ron. Um, the last 
times Ronald Madlock worked for uh, in the music business was I think in 1987 when he contributed stuff to uh, a Millie Scott record I think every little bit every little something every little bit and uh, then he somehow disappeared um, the reason for this were uh, difficulties with record management record labels something but that's all the information I could get. If you have other information, more information about this, please write it down in the comments. But um, yeah, he died at the age of 72. And what a shame. Uh, I wish he had the chance to do more. But maybe he did some of it and uh, put it on tape and it wasn't released. So we keep our hopes up high that he's doing more stuff. Go and get it. You can also get it uh, as a digital download. You can um, get it on CD if you prefer that, but uh, get the album. It's a beautiful masterpiece of soul music and uh, shouldn't be missing in any record collection. So it's snowing up here in Germany like hell. Uh, I hope your weather is a little better and um, I'm wishing you well, all the best and stay safe, stay healthy and see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.